So why do we care about a multi-tiered application? What uh, benefit does it give us? And the answer is the fact that we have separated out each of these tiers, the presentation logic from the application logic and the data logic. By doing that, we get some of the same features that we got with, with Rails having model views and controllers. And, and that is that we can focus our application on the area of its strength. So <clears throat> in a web browser, we can update how it displays our information and we don't have to change how we serve or store the data. Um, if we come up with new rules for our business logic, this is wonderful and one of the reasons why the web is so much more powerful than any other development platform. We can update our business logic and we don't have to change how we present it. So we could say, for instance, yeah, I know that you used to be able to have um, people with um, negative account balances uh, because they would f fix it by the end of the day, but we're changing that because of new federal regulations, and so you could never have an account balance that's negative uh, for any amount of time. And that rule change would happen here in the business logic level, and we wouldn't have to change anything here in our presentation. The, the information doesn't change that we present to, to the user. And we don't have to change the, the data logic because what we stored isn't any different. We've just put some rules in place to keep the values that we're storing as, as positive and always positive. And that's uh, true across the board. We could upgrade our database and we don't have to change any of our rules. We could say, oh, well, this um, simple little SQLite database that we're using right now is not powerful enough. We need to upgrade to MySQL or Postgres. Um, we can change our presentation logic, uh, especially with the web browser. We can say, hey, this is we're, we're switching from Chrome to Firefox to Safari or to some other browser, and we don't have to change anything in our back end and and so this modularity allows us a, additional f flexibility at each of these layers or each of these logic levels that just makes it um, easier for us to make changes that are independent and that they don't affect that and uh, whereas if you think of um, something like a dedicated mobile app where it has to store, uh, imagine for a second, that it stored all of its data locally and it had all of its rules and all of its presentation logic and it wasn't written in some sort of MVC manner. You make one change to it and, and it might cascade throughout all the other parts of, of the application. Or if you want to switch from yeah, an iPhone app to an Android app, that is a non-trivial change. You're going from different languages, you're going from different library support, you're going to have um, different services available to you. It is n not an easy thing to do. But switching to from, from one browser to the next should be easy. Switching from one server to the next could be easy. Switching from one database to the next hopefully is, is easy unless you've um, written some very customized things for that application. But it still is limited uh, to the area that it affects and doesn't bleed into those other areas. So this multi-tiered application has a, a lot of benefits.